Model Y is delivering tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, supposedly at 10 a.m. And I'll give you more information about that in a second, but for now, I have some actually exclusive photos of the Model Y interior. These were sent to me anonymously, and I have yet to see these anywhere on the internet. So these were taken three days ago at the Burbank Delivery Center. And first off is a video just seeing the exterior of a few Model Ys at the Delivery Center. So I'll show you that right now. And you can see a Model X there and then clearly a few Model Ys lined up ready to be delivered. It seems like over eight in this particular lineup. Right here is a performance model that they're walking up to. And you don't see much detail other than it has that cover on the Chrome Delete handles. So it's still Chrome Delete, it's just a cover over that. Don't freak out about that. Next is a photo of the steering wheel in the front screen. So to me, that screen looks totally normal size. It looks the same size as the Model 3. And that's what we expected. That's what Tesla has always said. But there was this rumor going around that that screen was going to be bigger, like 17 inches, just because it showed up somewhere, someplace, that it may be 17 inches. But it would make no sense that they would make a separate screen for the Model Y. It's so much easier for them to just give it the same exact screen. And that's what they're definitely doing here. And it's the same steering wheel. Everything looks good there. The interior just looks pretty standard. And then here's a photo of the front seats with the door open. And there's not much to tell here other than it looks good. It looks similar to the Model 3. But then if you look close in the back right there, if I zoom in, you can see that's clearly the hatchback of the Model Y. And you can kind of see a peek at what those little side storage compartments are going to be like for that hatchback. And the last photo is this really great photo of the back with the trunk open with those rear seats folded down. Look at how much space there is right there. Even if those seats aren't folded down, you can see how much space there still is going to be in that trunk. But with the seats folded down, you can fit a ton of stuff in there. It's going to be a really, really useful hatchback. And then on top of that, if we zoom over to the bottom left here, you can see that storage compartment on the side, which is going to be really useful to store cables or any accessories and stuff that you don't really want to store in the main compartments. And this is definitely a Model Y being transported and getting ready for delivery because if we zoom in on the screen right there, we can clearly see that that says transport mode. So some really nice photos of the interior there, and I'm excited to say you saw them here first and they're exclusive. They're exclusive to Ryan Shaw. Well, at least for now until people screenshot them and then put them on blogs and everything, and that's totally fine. That's what everyone does, and I totally support it because the Tesla community is all about that stuff. But based on these photos, fitting drums in there, absolutely no problem. Fitting drums in there with five passengers, I'm not 100% sure yet, and I'll be sure to make a video of that when I get the car. But definitely with those seats folded down, it'll be no problem. I'll probably be able to fit two drum sets in there. And for all you naysayers, just wait until I make that video because I'm pretty positive it's possible. Friday the 13th, Tesla is delivering their first Model Ys. We know there has been one confirmed in Washington and also one confirmed for that date in Carlsbad. So it's pretty awesome to see that. And then of course we saw more confirmed later. We saw one on the 14th that is getting confirmed for delivery in Oregon. And then we're seeing all sorts of delivery confirmations for the 15th through the 31st, as we previously thought would be the case. Very exciting stuff for people who ordered the Model Y. It's coming so much earlier than we previously thought, which is exciting, but also scary for some people who were planning on it coming at the end of the year, it's kind of very soon to get your Model Y. And they're not giving a ton of notifications, sometimes two weeks, sometimes one week, because it seems like they've just been producing a certain trim and then filling those orders wherever they're shipping them to. It doesn't really seem to be following the pre-order queue. So in my last video, which you can check out linked up here, I compared the Model Y dimensions to a bunch of different popular crossover vehicles. And you can see that the Model Y is a lot bigger than most people are expecting it to be. Now the main complaint I had about that video is that I didn't compare it to the Model X. I compared it to the Model 3 because for most people, if they're shopping for the Model 3 and they want a slightly bigger car, they're probably not going to be able to afford the Model X. But I will definitely do that in a future video very soon, probably within the week or so, because a lot of people really wanted that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to list off a bunch of the detailed dimensions we got about the Model Y recently. So since my last video, we heard about the wheelbase and all the interior dimensions and everything about the Model Y. And they seem to be confirmed just as well as they were in the last video, so they should be reliable. All the dimensions make a lot of sense based on the photos. It's just good to see official dimensions. So just to review, the Model Y dimensions are 187 inches long with a width of 83.8 inches, and that's including the side mirrors. And then if you exclude the side mirrors, it's 75.6 inches. And then the overall height is 64 inches tall. 
Now the new measurements we got are that the wheelbase of the Model Y is going to be 113.3 inches. The overhang in the front is going to be 34.4 inches. The rear overhang is 38.8 inches. And now we got officially confirmed that the ground clearance is 6.6 .6 inches. Definitely exciting to hear about the ground clearance. Everyone wanted a bigger ground clearance in the Model Y than the Model 3. And this is confirmed we definitely have a bigger ground clearance. 6.6 .6 inches, which will be great. And then lastly, in the exterior, we have the track in the front and rear, which is 64.4 inches. Now, for those of you wondering what it's going to be like sitting inside of a Model Y, we finally have interior dimensions as well. So I'll list those off right now. In a future video, I'll go in depth about these, especially once we have actual photos and videos of the car. I'll make sure to make a video in the car detailing what these dimensions mean and how they actually work with different people's body shapes and heights and everything. But for now, I'm just going to list them off for you so that you have them. So the headroom in the front is going to be 41 inches. The headroom in the rear is going to be 39.4 inches. Then the leg room in the front is 41.8 inches. The leg room in the rear is 40.5 inches. The shoulder room in the front is going to be 56.4 inches and the shoulder room in the rear is going to be 54 inches. So as I mentioned, I'll do a detailed comparison of the Y and the X in a future video. But what you'll notice in that video is that these are fairly similar to the Model X. Some dimensions are actually bigger than the Model X and some of them are just a tiny bit smaller. We've also seen the VIN numbers get up into the 1700s, which last week it was down in the 400s to the 600s when people were actually getting their VINs confirmed. And now it's up in the 1700s, which means they're producing these cars very fast. And there's a lot of them. There's over 1700 Model Ys being produced and actually delivered, which is great. I hope that this just continues and continues and keeps growing to the point where I can get mine fairly soon because I'm really excited about it, but they haven't notified anyone who bought the Model Y with the all wheel drive package and the 19 inch Gemini wheels for delivery. Not a single person. And I'm in that boat. There's tons of people who have gotten exactly my same car, but they upgraded to the $2,000 induction wheels and tons of people are getting those notices, even if they ordered this same month. One update for delivery notices is that people who ordered the white interiors are starting to get those delivery notices. So that's pretty exciting because before we noticed it was all black interiors, people were kind of annoyed because they ordered a long time ago before people who bought the black interior and they ordered the upgraded, more expensive white interior and they're getting the car later. Well, now it seems like Tesla is actually producing some of the Model Ys with the white interiors and scheduling those deliveries. I posted this thought on Twitter and you could follow me there at Ryan Shaw Tech or feel free to message me about anything regarding the Model Y or Tesla or life in general. I'd love to connect with you. But here's my theory about how Tesla is treating these. As opposed to just starting from the announcement date back in March of 2019 and working through the pre-order list, I think what Tesla is doing is producing a certain trim and then shipping a certain amount of those cars to different areas and then figuring out who they're going to go to. So if you happen to be close to a delivery center on the East Coast and they're shipping your exact trim there already and you ordered early on, you're probably going to get that delivery notice. But it kind of seems like it has to be the perfect storm for you to get that delivery notice. At the same time, we see people who even ordered like March 1st. I talked to someone recently who ordered in March and they're getting their car in March. So it must have been the perfect storm of where their delivery center is and what trim they bought and everything for Tesla to give them the car so soon. Definitely annoying and frustrating if you ordered all the way back in March of 2019 and you're gonna have to wait longer than someone who ordered a year later. But it seems to be how Tesla is doing it, at least at this point. They're just probably doing what's most efficient. If they can just run off 100 or 500 Model Ys, all with the same exact wheels, the induction wheels, then they do it. And they can do it much more efficient than switching up wheels and making sure they're filling all these different pre-orders to get everyone in the perfect order. But it's important to keep in mind, even if you ordered a year ago, you were expecting late 2020 for delivery. So they're not probably going to be late to that. I'd assume you definitely get it by late 2020, no matter what trim you got. I guess unless you got the rear wheel drive. That might come in 2021. But of course, I understand all of the frustration. I'm in the same boat. I ordered in October edited it to all-wheel drive in early January, even before rear-wheel drive disappeared, and all these people are getting the car before me, 
that ordered later. A couple recent developments in the design of the Model Y that we've seen in recent sightings are one, that the rear windows appear that they're gonna be tinted. We've seen a bunch of different photos and actually a really long video where someone surrounded a Model Y and got about eight minutes of great YouTube footage of it just from the exterior, but in that you can clearly see the rear windows and the back windshield and everything are tinted. Now we're not really sure if that tint will only come in the performance model or only the all-wheel drive, but it's definitely exciting that there's a possibility that it comes with tint because a lot of people were gonna get the tint anyway and now they don't have to. Still would be nice to hear from Tesla on these things since it's delivering tomorrow and tomorrow, once that person gets their car, they'll probably post a few photos and that's when we're gonna get our answers about stuff. Another design change seems to be that the cameras on the side pillars have a little bit of a smaller hole where it's open for the sun to get in. And this is an issue that Model 3 owners have had and if you know about this issue, you're gonna be happy that it's fixed and if you don't know about this issue, then you're gonna be happy because the Model Y doesn't have an issue that the Model 3 sometimes has. But basically, sometimes in the right angle, there would be glare on the camera and it wasn't usable, and it looks like they've made the hole itself smaller that lets in the picture. So we're assuming that should somewhat eliminate that issue, unless they made it smaller for some other reason. This is gonna be a very comfortable and spacious car, and I can't wait to actually sit in one in person, which could happen tomorrow? Probably not tomorrow. But in the next few days, I'm hoping to get in contact with someone who gets their delivery. And if you're getting one delivered soon, as I've mentioned in my last few videos, you can reach out to me at Ryan Shaw Tech on Twitter or RyanShawReviews at gmail.com. And I'd love to connect with you and we can make a video together or I could just check out the car if you're willing. I'd really appreciate it. So that's all the Model Y updates for today. As I mentioned in previous shorter videos, it's more for the Tesla nerds out there and the people that want every single detail about the Model Y. This video isn't gonna be for everyone, but hopefully you got something out of it. And if you wanna see more videos about the Model Y, especially when I get mine, I'm gonna be making tons of videos with it. Whenever that comes, it could be one month, it could be six months. We'll have to see how Tesla ramps up production and when they deliver the Gemini wheels. But make sure you're subscribed to this channel to stay up to date on all the videos I'm making and like this video if you found it useful. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.